we are intimately connected as well, right? So that's the second piece. We're intimately connected. Now, you're the body of Christ, individual members of that, right? And it's, it's joint and ligament when you think about that. And it's funny, we sometimes get more focused on the organizational aspect of it, right? The membership and things like this. And, and that's, that's this place. And yet it's, it's at some point symbolic, right? And if we focus less on the membership of the organization and more on the members in one each other, in, 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 in being members of one another, being members of the body, it would change how we do. The first is important, definitely, but it's symbolic of that second. And oh, that we would put more weight on that second piece, right? And Ephesians 4, you know, in, in, in broadening it out, but speaking the truth in love, let us grow in every way into him who is the head, Christ. From him, the whole body is fitted and knit together by every supporting ligament, promotes growth of the body for building up itself in love by the proper working of each individual part. So, make a body analogy there, right? Okay, let's go back into the body analogy, right? You know, and, and, you know, and I, I'm not going to try to put additional medical weight on it that we know what we know today. You know? Let's look at it from even just a second century or a second temple period type of uh, context that people of the time wouldn't understand from a medical analogy, right? But my arm gets its sustenance. It gets its purpose through its connection. We get in, the, in this assembly... I find myself wanting to not use the word church and retranslate an assembly, but in Ecclesia, no, it's not going to work. Anyway, but in this body, right, we're connected. That we get that we we not only do our mission and 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 get our life, but we actually have to get our purpose through those connections, joint and ligament, right? So let's push that medical analogy analogy pretty far, right? So so I, I don't lift weights. No, that comes as a shock to everyone here. Just you know. Do you lift, bro? Uh, so, when I, when uh, theoretically, when you lift weights, for those of you who do, right, you go and, and, and you do strenuous exercise, you use your body in a way that just pours out energy and puts out purpose and does something with it, right? And then afterwards, I read about this. What people do is they amputate their arms afterwards. They put them in a box, right, so that they can recover. And then when they're back well again, we put those arms back on, right? No. No, right? You Think about that body analogy. If we're doing ministry in various ways here, or you're serving in the body together, be it in formal or formal ways, and, and that you have to disconnect, we have to, I have to disconnect from you to go and get refilled up again before I come back and can serve again, then I think we're doing ministry wrong. I think we're doing body work wrong if I have to go and amputate myself for a while so I can, you know, heal up and come back and be ready, right? Doesn't stop me from doing it sometimes, and I've, I've caught myself doing that. Work was pretty miserable two weeks ago, and I checked out from the body, right? From times when I would normally get together with folks, I kind of found something else to do, right? That's wrong, and it doesn't heal me up. It doesn't bring me back to where I need to be. So, I don't know. I think every piece of ministry on our body service should be mutually beneficial in that, right? If it's one way, it's going to die. If it's one way, it's death, right? Church is made up of, of, I don't know, functioning units, right? So, anyway, so we are intimately connected. As creepy and weird as sometimes that is, uh, it's a beautiful thing as well because it imbues everything, every time we get together in every format with meaning, 